I am 51 years old, and right now I am sitting at St. Joseph Oakland with a defibrillator in my heart to prolong my life when I could have did what I needed to do. It started with a mitral valve prolapse and I was 34, 35. Um, I still just did what I wanted to do. I didn't pay attention. I'm like, I'm too young. So I end up um, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. What do you think about that? Sad because I could have prevented it if I would have just did what I was supposed to do on my end, um, take care of me and take care of me take medications and, you know, blood pressure, eat right, exercise, all of those things I did not do. I did not take medications. I did not monitor my blood pressure. I thought, I got this. I started feeling like out of breath when I walked. Um, to the bathroom, if I walked to my car. I was just out of breath, couldn't breathe, couldn't do anything. So I started going to the doctor to let them know because couldn't breathe. They told me that I had a uh, injection fraction. One of the ventricles didn't work properly. So that's why I was out of breath and I didn't know that. I needed to be on medication and I needed to take it. Um, a lot of people don't take their medications. As women, we we think about everybody else. We do everything for everybody else and we don't do enough for ourselves. And if I did not get a heart defibrillator, I could have a stroke, I could have a heart attack or I could die. Came to the hospital yesterday, everything went well. Today they came in, they monitored the ICD um, by Medtronic. Really nice, Dr. Batshaw is awesome. Dr. Salvia is awesome. My nurses here at St. Joseph is awesome. The manager here for the floor is awesome. And I'm going to take care of me and do what I need to do. Yes. What's the hardest part for you, Danita? You're going to make me cry. <laughs> um, dying and not being able to be with my family. I'm like, a strong person. I try to make sure everybody's straight and everybody's doing good. Um, so the hardest part is just leaving and not being here for them. See, people still think of heart disease as a man's disease and an old people's disease. And what we're finding is that more women are getting heart disease at younger ages. Go and get checked first. Make sure you're taking care of your, taking your medications and especially African-Americans. We don't, we don't, I'm just putting it out there. We don't take care of ourselves as far as heart disease go. So I'm just pleading and begging, go get checked, take your medicine. It's worth it. I'm still in a scary position right now. I'm scared because I don't know about this defibrillator thing, but when they put it in, I felt I could breathe. I really could breathe. I, I wasn't winded. I wasn't out of breath. So instantly, but I waited so long, it, it could have been prevented. What's your hopes and dreams? People come together and love each other and be there for one another. Life is too short and we can be here today and not gone tomorrow, but here today and gone tonight. So love on your loved ones and, you know, just... Be there for one another. They've asked me this year, February, for this Go Red event for the American Heart Association, who I'm going to have in mind. And I've already decided it's going to be you. And oh my. What are the dreams you still have of doing even now with a defibrillator, with heart disease? I want to finish writing my book. I have so much to say. I have so many people to reach. I want to be able to let someone else know that you can make it. You can make it. Put your trust in God. You can make it. What do you want to tell people about who has the face of heart disease? Anyone can have the face of heart disease. Young, old, middle-aged, 
It doesn't matter if you're 15, 16, you can get heart disease. If you have a heart, you can get heart disease. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what were the symptoms that you were ignoring? Headaches, dizzy spells, numbness and tingling. I had all of that. And if you could have done anything differently, what is it you would have done? Don't ignore the warning signs. Get checked. Get your heart pumping. Go see a doctor. Take your medications. Eat healthy. Exercise. And do what you need to do. Because somebody needs you. God did not put you here for nothing. You have a, a purpose and a destiny. I love you. Thank you so much. And I hope you get another 51 years. Yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> oh, thank you. Sending you love. <laughs>